Bismillah, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to all my beloved students out there. I hope everybody is doing well today and you are all prepared for today's lesson. So before we begin, make sure you have a book and of course a pen to write with. And uh, today we are going to be reviewing Ulangaji about these three things. Simple, uh, present simple, sorry, present continuous and stative verbs. So we are going to talk for a little bit about the functions of these things. Uh, so grammar, yeah. In case you're not aware, kita akan belajar pasal uh, tata bahasa grammar today. Um, okay. So present simple. There are five functions of present simple. When you want to talk about facts and permanent situations, benda yang fakta ataupun satu benda yang tak berubah kekal situasi yang permanent. Two general truths and laws of nature. Again, fakta. Dan uh, laws of nature, undang-undang alam, uh, scientific facts. Three habits and routines, benda yang kita punya tabiat kita. Number four, timetables and programs. But we are talking about the future, benda yang akan berlaku, tapi benda tu dah ada dalam um, uh, perancangan. Okay, so for example, an aeroplane. Um, my friend's aeroplane, you say arrives. At 9 p.m. Belum pukul 9 lagi. Tapi kamu boleh gunakan arrives present simple. Sebabnya dah dijangka sampai pada pukul 9. And number 5. Uh, reviews. Ada komen kat sini. Sorry. Reviews, stories and sports commentaries. All of these things use the present simple. Okay. Uh, whereas, manakala uh, we go to the present continuous. Present continuous biasanya kita ingat dia sebagai uh, benda yang berlaku sekarang. Uh, kita buat present continuous dengan tambah is, are Lepas tu dengan kata kerja tambah ing kan? Uh, I am working for example uh, okay, so, But that is the number one function Actions happening at the time of speaking so, Kamu tengah cakap tu ada satu benda lain berlaku uh, But that is not the only function We can also talk about temporary or changing situations Benda yang keadaan yang, yang sentiasa berubah Benda yang sementara sahaja And number three, uh, I like this one, annoying habits. Tabiat yang kita tak suka. Often with adverbs like always. So when we talk about um, annoying habits, we usually put adverbs uh, like always in the sentence. He is always criticizing me. Dia asyik uh, kritik saya. Macam tu. Bukan berlaku sekarang, tapi benda yang dia selalu buat. Annoying. And, and that is annoying to you. And number four, plans and arrangements in the future. Benda yang kita ada um, ada rancang nak buat pada masa akan datang. Also, we use the present continuous. And finally, we have stative verbs, uh, which I am going to explain later. Uh, but now, we are going to watch a video. And we will see how these uh, rules are used. In practical English Dalam bahasa Inggeris perbualan Macam mana dia digunakan Give me a moment I'll write while I set this up Unit 1 Present simple and present continuous Stative verbs Mark Spark and Betty Brain Are scientists Mark is an inventor, and Betty is his assistant. Today, Betty and Mark are in their lab. They are working on some experiments. Mark, what are you making? I'm making a present for my cousin George. He's coming today for a short visit. Okay, so pause there. Uh, I'm going to turn on the subtitle. Okay, he says he's coming today. For a short visit. So that is the present continuous. Tapi dia belum datang lagi. Dia akan datang. So a plan. And uh, something we, we talk about that as number. You can see that number four. Plans and arrangement. He is coming. Dia akan datang. Okay. Let's move on. But that's a carton of milk. It looks like a carton of milk, but it's not. I connect it with my mobile phone, and it becomes a speaker. George loves milk, and loves music too. All right, there. 
George loves milk and loves music too. So loves is what we call a stative verb. Stative verb adalah kata kerja yang tak kita tak nampak perbuatan dia. Uh, verbs are kata kerja bahasa Melayu kan. Uh, but some verbs are different than others. You have verbs such as punch, kick, you know, play, uh, things that you can see people doing. These are actions, perbuatan. But can you see love? No, you cannot. So that is why it is a stative verb. Uh, other examples of stative verbs are like, hate, um, belief, percaya. You cannot see all these actions. But they are still verbs. And stative verbs, it is most of the time, not always, but most of the time, it is used in the present simple. You, you don't say generally, is loving. He is loving milk. Okay, biasa kita dengar is loving ni kat McDonald's je. Which is actually grammatically not really correct. Okay, I'm loving it. Doesn't make sense. Tapi dia boleh guna sebab bermain dengan bahasa. Okay. So remember that about stative verb. Why are you wearing a tie? You never wear ties. I hate ties. But I'm wearing this tie because it's a present from my cousin George. He says you never wear ties. Present simple. That is a routine. That is a habit. Never. I'm cooking vegetables. Vegetables? But you hate vegetables. You always eat meat. Yeah. So again there, routine or habit. You always eat meat. Yes, but cousin George is a vegetarian. He doesn't eat meat. He doesn't. Okay, bila nak buat ayat uh, negative, kita kena tambah does not. He does not. Kalau they, do not. And kata kerja tak perlu tambah S. When, when you put do or does, kata kerja tu akan kekal dalam dia punya root word. What are you doing? I'm putting away my things. There's always a disaster when George comes. Thank goodness he's only staying for dinner. Thank goodness he's only staying for dinner. He is only staying for dinner. So, temporary. Sementara sahaja. So, we use the present continuous. George! Nice to see you. <laughs> this is Betty, my lovely assistant. Hello, Betty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, George. <laughs> Waking up with my suitcases. I'm staying for a week. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, so that is the end of the video. Again, I'm staying for a week. Temporary. Dia bukan duduk selama-lamanya. Jadi, we'll use the present continuous. Okay, so I hope you um, understand some things by watching this video. Um, now, however, we are going to uh, look at your textbook. Uh, let me try to change this. Oh, no, that is not the one I want to change. What document? Okay, this one. All right, um, too small. Okay, right. Uh, so you can refer to page nine 
of your textbook. There are more detailed notes here that you can read on your own later. Uh, if you need the time to read the notes, uh, sure, you can pause the video and read the notes. Mm, give me a moment while I adjust this. That's, why is it too big? All right. Uh, sorry for the delay. Okay. So, yes. So, there are more details that you can read uh, in page 9 of the textbook. Okay. Uh, but now we'll continue. Uh, we'll, let's do this one together. Number 2. Okay. Complete the sentences. Use the present simple or the present continuous. In which sentence could you use both but with a change of meaning? So we are going to see here that sometimes it is correct to use both the present simple and the present continuous. But the meaning, uh, the meanings are not going to be the same. Uh, number one, for example, I see my friend at the gym. You could say that. You could also say I am seeing my friend at the gym. If you say, I see my friend at the gym, let me bring this up again. Uh, and maybe I can move this. Aha, okay, this is good. I see my friend at the gym. Maksudnya, saya nampak kawan saya dekat gym. You just see, present simple. If you use the present continuous, I am seeing my friend at the gym. So it can have a different function. Number four kat sini, uh, present continuous, function number four. Plan or arrangement. I am seeing. Saya akan pergi jumpa. Saya merancang nak jumpa dengan dia. Uh, you arrange to meet with your friend at the gym. Macam tu. Okay. So both are correct but they have different meanings. So that is why using the correct tenses is very important in English. Just a slight difference can change the whole meaning. Number two. B. My colleagues and I discuss the project right now right now sekarang actions happen at the time of speaking so i we know this is present continuous i kita kena tambah am i am uh, sorry my number dua my colleagues and i so dua orang are discuss tambah ing my colleagues and i are discussing and c i usually ask my coach for his advice so, ini adalah present simple, habit and routine. Okay, selalunya habit. I usually ask sahaja, tak tambah apa-apa. Sebab present simple, I kata kerja tak payah tambah S. Okay, now I want you to do exercise 3 in your book. Make sure you write the topic, uh, the day and date as well. And please do the exercise. Okay, pause the video and we will discuss after you have finished. So now hit the pause button. And welcome back. We are going to discuss the answers together. Uh, please take the answer with a red pen as usual. If you don't have a red pen, um, just use any colored pen. Don't use a blue or black pen because it's very messy if you take your books with a blue or black pen. Okay, now, number one. You understand why teens think their peers are important. So this is a question. Question we have to start with, do or does. And we're talking about you. Sorry, not teens there, you. So, kita gunakan do. Do you understand why teens think their peers are important? Remember what peers are? Rakan, sebaya, peers. Number two. My teacher always criticized me. It drives me crazy. This is present continuous. Annoying habit. Tak tahan. Ugh, drives me crazy. So, my teacher is always criticizing me. Drives me crazy. Naik gila aku. Number three. Mom and dad. Tak bagi my brother and me money for cleaning our room. Alright, this is... Uh, just um, what is it? You could say it is a habit. Memang tak bagi. 
uh, you could also say it is a fact. Fakta. Memang mak ayah tak bagi. Okay, so simple. Present simple. Mom and dad do not give my brother and, I, and me money for cleaning our room. Four. At what temperature? Question mark. So, question mark kita kena letak do ataupun does. At what temperature? Water jadi does. At what temperature does water freeze? Pada suhu apa air beku? Five. We have a huge get together for all our relatives on Sunday. Belum lagi. It is a plan. You an arrangement. Kamu pakat nak berjumpa dengan saudara mara kamu. So we use the present continuous. We are having a huge get together. And number six in this story. Story. So we know it is present simple. Papa bear. Satu je. Sits. Tambah S. Eh? Sit tambah S. Sits in his chair first. Seven. My colleagues. Colleagues adalah rakan sejawat, rakan sekerja. Not work this weekend. Belum lagi. Hujung minggu ni. So we use the present continuous. My colleagues are not working this weekend. Or you could also say do not work this weekend. Mungkin dalam dia punya timetable dia tak bekerja. So both are correct there actually. Uh, eight. Your son ever talk to strangers? Question. So mulakan dengan do or does. Your son. Seorang. So does your son ever talk to strangers? Does your son. Number nine, um, you cook supper for your family evening, uh, every evening, sorry. So another question, you, we start the question with a do. Do you cook supper for your family every evening? Okay, so please write there how many out of eight you managed to get. And congratulations if you managed to get every, uh, out of nine, sorry. Congratulations if you managed to get everything correctly. If you did not, it's okay. We are learning. And make sure you write the correct answers on top of the answers that you uh, wrote. The, the wrong answers. Okay. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, just a little comment about um, common errors that Malaysian students tend to make. Yeah. Uh, in about uh, about questions when you ask questions so what do you like tadi kita mulakan soalan dengan um, do je kan but if you put what pun kita tanya what do you like kita tak boleh tanya je apa yang kamu suka macam bahasa Melayu kita fikir apa what what you like i hear a lot of students just asking questions like this what you like uh, where you go so you have to put do kat situ ataupun does where he work no where does he work okay what do you like so please make sure that you get this correctly next time eh? put do or does at the beginning of a question okay uh, if you have any questions about that you, that you are not sure of you are confused please feel free to uh, contact me um, in any way that is easy for you. There's a telegram group. You can also leave a comment down below. Anything works for me. Okay. Uh, let's do one more question. Uh, one more exercise, I mean. Number four. Circle the correct words to complete the text. So, choose where, which of the two answers are correct. Again, please write the entire thing in your book. It is a good writing practice for you. Okay. If you're ready, uh, hit the pause button and continue playing the video after you have finished. Okay, so pause now. Okay, welcome back. And let's discuss the answers. Teens and pocket money. Um, it is good if you can read along with me so you can practice your pronunciation rather than just listening. Dengar sekali dan baca, okay? Some parents complain that their children are always asking for money. 
are always asking because it is an annoying habit. Actually, minta duit je. Many teens get pocket money for helping with chores around the house. Okay, get. We use the present simple because it is um, it's number two. What is number two? General truths. Biasanya. Or a habit, you could say. Okay, general truth. Biasanya dapat. Um, and the amount of money they earn is increasing regularly. Is increasing. Uh, because present um, continuous, we're talking about temporary. Excuse me. Temporary or changing situation. Dia berubah-ubah. Asyik um, bertambah. Boleh ber betul menurun but generally it is increasing okay this is because things become or are becoming the answer is are becoming more and more expensive all the time again changing perubahan changing situation um Oh, I lost my train of thought. Where was I? Uh, here, here. Parents. Sorry about that. Parents of teens are often worrying, often worry about whether, often worry. This is the answer. Often worry. Corrupt. Okay. About whether they should give their children pocket money and if they choose to do so, sekir, if they choose to do so, sekiranya mereka... Uh, pilih untuk berbuat demikian To do so, berbuat demikian They usually have a hard time deciding how much to give them Okay, remember when we use these adverbs Okay um, is a, um, I'm talking about this one Okay, uh, number three, habits and routines We use the present simple It seems that there really is no correct amount. It seems. This is a stative verb. So we use the present simple. One way for parents to decide how much to give their children is to ask other parents what they, what they do or what they are doing. When it comes to pocket money, what they do is to ask other parents what they do, what they are doing. I think both are correct, but the meaning is going to be different. What they are doing, apa mereka buat sekarang, what they do, apa mereka, apa benda yang mereka buat sahaja. Okay, so I will accept both if you um, choose do or doing, do do betul. When it comes to pocket money, many of them will say that they provide their children with a certain amount of money each week. Okay, so the keyword here is each week. It is a routine. Okay, so must be the present simple. Provide. If their children want. Want is another stative verb. Can you see people want? Okay, mungkin kamu boleh nampak dia gerak-gerak macam tu Tapi, but it is not an action It is a stative verb So, not wanting So, if the children want to buy something special They can save this money until they have got enough Or they can do extra chores around the house For a few weeks Okay So, um, how many are there? There are 10 um, So, please write The uh, amount of correct answers that you managed to get and as always, write the correct answers if you uh, did not get the right one. Okay, and that is all for today's lesson. Thank you very much for attending. I will be uh, giving the uh, attendance form in our Telegram group. And just like last week, please make sure that you put a picture of your exercise book as evidence. Irfan, not a screenshot of the YouTube. Okay, a picture of your exercise book. Okay, so thank you very much everyone for attending and please stay safe.
stay home and I hope to see you all when this whole pandemic is over again. Okay, assalamualaikum.